A manhunt is underway for the person responsible for murdering four University of Idaho students in their off-campus home last week. So far, no suspects have been identified in the attack. Local officials are struggling to answer several key questions, like where the murder weapon is and how the two surviving roommates were able to sleep through the attack. Joining us with more is Idaho State Police Communications Director Aaron Snell. He's also the public information officer for the Moscow Police Department. <laughs> Director Snell, thank you for being here. As, as you heard, there are some major questions that people have. What is the latest on the investigation? Yeah. Most definitely, there are major questions, and uh, we continue to investigate this case uh, around the clock. It's very important to us. It's important to this community. It's unfortunately a, a major tragedy, and so we really want to solve this case. Um, as far as updates go, uh, we continue to investigate. We have over 700 leads. Uh, we also provided a way for the community to provide their uh, surveillance videos to us through the FBI, and so more leads are pouring in every day. We've investigated and interviewed over 30 people, and uh, I'm sorry, over 90 people, and so we are continuing this investigation and, and really, really working through the leads as they're coming to us and vetting everything and making sure that uh, we're we're going to get to the bottom of this. You know, it's such a bizarre and, and horrific crime. Um, you know, and a lot of people have questions about who could have done something like this. We know that the surviving roommates have been uh, ruled out so far by police. Uh, but I wonder, you know, is there any more information about any motivation? Uh, at first, there was information about, you know, possibly being a targeted attack. Uh, we don't know or from the reporting I've been reading uh, that can't be confirmed. Any clues as to whether it was one or more suspects? Just anything that we can know? Yeah, at this point in time, um, you know, everybody wants us to focus down and come up with motives and all those types of things which are which are important. Uh, we do not want to get rabbit holed in any specific motive, any specific thought or theory. Our detectives are truly taking a whole view approach. We're still putting together the pieces of this case. We're putting together the tidbits of information and we're trying to come up with a clear picture. Uh, we have not identified whether it was one suspect or more. Mm -hmm. um, as well, we have not identified any motive. I can tell you that there is substantial progress in this case behind the scenes. Uh, obviously, in these types of cases, these very complex types of cases, um, you know, law enforcement will tell you, you cannot provide a lot of that information to the public uh, because it would hinder the investigation. So we continue to move forward. We will continue to move forward and we want positive resolution and bring justice for these families. Well, we understand that in an investigation, you don't want to provide all the information and make that public, but there has been some information that's come out that I think has led to a lot of this confusion, like the question of whether or not the public is at risk if there is somebody out there. <laughs> Officials are still looking for the murder weapon. Uh, I'm wondering, Doctor or Director Snell, if you can tell us why authorities are struggling so much, it appears at least, to collect evidence and piece together this case in a coherent manner. So yes, I mean, the information flow that has come out uh, was initially a little bit slow. Um, all the all the resources from this agency were dedicated to solving this crime. So this is a little bit smaller of an agency, about you know 30 some officers, 100% of those officers were investigating this crime, including the chief of police, they were all out at the scene. And so what kind of fell through the cracks was kind of that public communication. Uh, you know, people are scared, they're terrified, they wanna know what's going on. And so as additional resources were brought to bear, um, that was one of the things that we were able to bolster. And so we are trying to provide as much accurate information as possible in a timely fashion. We want the public and the media to know what's going on. And so we continue we continue working towards that. And that's uh, you know why I'm here today. Uh, we want to provide information. We know that this has captured the nation's interest. Um, you know, ultimately this is a, a small town uh, crime and we're solving it and uh, we brought in additional resources and we're looking forward to really coming out and providing as much as we can. Uh, Director Snell, I just want to, you know, I think the main conversation, the main question that families and parents and people who have their kids uh, at the university have is how much of a threat is there to the community? And of course, you know, as you said, there has been a great deal of misinformation. We heard from the mayor at first that it was a crime of passion, then he had to backtrack that. At some point, there was information that they knew it was a targeted attack uh, and so that there wasn't a threat to the community. I think the, the thing that people want to know in that community, if there's no suspect, if there's so little information that can be revealed is, is there a threat to the community that's still uh, possible or should people uh, you know be resting at ease that somehow the suspect is not targeting other people or cannot 
L- let's be clear. This is horrific. Um, this was a terrible crime. We lost four four college students, four members of our community. And, uh, you know, there is somebody out there, some people out there um, who have murdered people. And so, you know, we have to be careful. We have to be alert as a community. We want people to to recognize what occurred. And at this time, we do not have a suspect or suspects. And so uh, we want people to, to be alert, to be aware right. as well. Um, we want them to provide information and tips and, and leads to us so that we can continue to investigate. So we know the community is hurting. We know they want information. We know there's some frustration out there. And that is our job is to continue putting out the information that we vetted, that we know is accurate and true. Uh, it's taken a little bit longer than people want, uh, but we have to be careful in our criminal investigation. Yeah. So there, yeah. there still could be a threat. Uh, Director Aaron Snell, thank you so much for taking the time and, and walking us through what is factual and, and what you still cannot uh, reveal. Appreciate it. Thank you.